on our way to Magic Kingdom. It's 4th of July. You gotta do Magic Kingdom over 4th of July, right? Today's 3rd of July. <laughs> Let me phrase that. It's 4th of July weekend. You gotta do <laughs> Magic Kingdom over 4th of July weekend. Yeah, because we actually aren't gonna be there on the 4th of July. No. We have another party again. I'm not sure I wanna be there on the 3rd of July. I know. Well, they have, you know they do the full fireworks for the, the whole weekend. So at Magic yeah. Kingdom, they do the full fireworks on the third You know and they have the, the full fourth. crowds on the third and the fourth? They do, yes. <laughs> so but the reason we're going to Magic Kingdom, of course, because you know it's 4th of July, but Hunter and Kelly both got their brand new books. Our friend Tim Foster wrote this amazing book called Guide to the Magic. It's specifically for kids. Now we've known Tim, oh my gosh, what, 10 years? Yeah, at least. yeah, 10, 12 years. It's been a long time that we've known Tim. And we know that he's an author of this book. And for some reason, I always expect it to be much smaller. Well, Kelly has been asking about this book for years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so finally, I ordered them recently and they came in and I was mesmerized. Hunter, hand me your book. Let me show everybody. It is huge. It is literally like the size of a piece of paper. It's an 8 by 10. It's huge. And if you look at all the pages look at them they're like full color pages this is insane so all about the theme parks all about you know tips for planning a vacation and then what the kids do and then there's like stuff in the back that they can fill out which our kids love and then of course there's stickers that's what hunter's all excited about i can't find the yeah, stickers the stickers are at the back the stickers at the back here i'll hand it back to you and the stickers do you oh there they are the stickers you use to actually um, put, here, oh. let me try to find a page that has one. Here's one. You put them right here. Oh, so after you see the ride, then you put it where the ride is. So we're going to go ahead and go over to Magic Kingdom and let the kids ride on a few rides and do some of the stuff in the book because I know they're so excited. Kelly's had his for several days. Hunter just got hers right now. Surprise! And at the front it says my name, yep. age, grade, dates of trip, all uh, dates of trip I'm just going to be doing all. Just say every day? Every single day. <laughs> Who every I'm day. traveling with, family, where we stayed, home. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. And Kelly's already, show me what you've done on yours. Kelly's so already far, ranked some of I his rides. This, I have this much stickers to go through. So since Kelly has been on pretty much every single ride at Disney World, he's already gone through, ranked them, because you can actually give them a thumbs up, thumbs down, or like an eh, right? And you can say, you can say if you did it, like cross it off or check. Right, so Kelly's done a lot of the rides, so he's already gone on there, put the stickers on, and done that. But I know he really that, wanted that, to take that, the book that. to Magic Kingdom and use it. So that's where we're heading. Of course, it's 4th of July, but we thought we'd also tie in these fantastic new books. 4th of July weekend. I'm looking at the 4th of July weekend, correct. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable, I tell you. Tim got a spot second from the front, or third, third from the front at the Ticket and Transportation Center. That never happens. Never! <laughs> he has the worst luck ever. It's always the very last row. So we're all like, wait for it, wait for it. We kept expecting the cast member to grab him and go all the way down, all the way down. Mom kept on saying, grab him, grab him, grab him, uh, grab him, grab him, grab him. I thought he was gonna get tagged. But new car, new luck, as Tim said. Right? Yep. Awesome! Yes. We gotta show off your cute little outfit. This is an outfit that Hunter was dying to buy at Target. But she looks like a minion. We got her. Yeah, we got her dressed and she's like, I look like a minion. Well, but minions got a banana. Uh, one of the fun activities is a monorail scavenger hunt. Oh. There's an orange one. So the red monorail just came in and there's an orange monorail. There's two more for Kelly to cross off and Hunter to cross off. Gold. And then peach on this side. Hunter, you have some catching up to do, kid. Bay Lake, Discovery Island, off in the distance. The garden wing of the uh, contemporary. Kind of passing with Nikki here. This is a 
the best view of it. Oh yeah, this is a good view of it. And then we go into the contemporary. Yeah. Yeah. Chef Nicky's. We just did a review of their bunch. Six toed. Six legged, five legged goat. We just did it. I love this sign when you enter Magic Kingdom and everybody just walks right by it, doesn't pay any attention. Here you leave tomorrow and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Woohoo! Okay, Hunter, mail our letters. One. Two. There we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. And did it go? It went. Send us more mail. And we'll send it from Main Street, USA. Alright, so the partner statue is back out from behind its box again. Keeps coming in and out, but the last time we were here it was still in a box. So it's good to see old Walt and Mickey back out in the open. Oh yeah, look at all the greenery. Oh yeah, all the greenery added. And you can actually see the new turrets above the uh, screens. So you see the new turrets above the screens here and over there. Looking pretty cool. I bet they'll be unveiling those in no time. Alright, first up. Haunted Mansion. <laughs> yep, we have fast passes for Haunted Mansion and fast passes for Monsters Inc. And who knows what else we'll do in between time. But it looks like we chose wisely on this one. Standby is 30 minutes. And backed way up, I think it's more than 30 minutes. Horseless carriage. Kelly brought his pins this time. Wanted to do some pin trading. Thank you. Which one did you get? I see. I'm sorry? Oh, cute. Yeah. Thank you. This one was. I love these shirts. This would be like a dress for me. That is. I know. I think I need to get one of these. They're pretty fun. Ghost Coast. I never noticed. They're from regions. Yeah. Portrait gallery, dining hall, and grand ball, game room, kitchen room, kitchen, pantry, server courts, powder room, library, car room, guest chamber, sensor room, they have these really fun things. You do your own picture and then they turn you into a creep. Oh, they are so fun. That's a cool kind of photography, huh? You want to do it? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be freaked out with you. <laughs> Hunter's trying to come up with her joke for Monsters Last Night. For the second one, I'm going to do the vampire one just in case. Oh. And we're gonna do a random name. We're not gonna do like Hunter Jones or Kelly Jones. We're gonna do, how about we do Luna? Do I do Luna? Oh no, Scott, Sky Jackson, just kidding. <laughs> Sky Jackson. Just kidding. All right, we're heading over to Monsters. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, which is kind of nice. Allie? It's cooled down a little bit because it was hot earlier. How about Allie? Are you still coming up with a name? Is that how about going? Allie? Um, Alibaba? No. <laughs> Ali. Ali Sun. Ali Sun. I think that's my name. No. Uh, and but see, here's this little, little nook right here for the wishing wall. 
that you would walk right by and not even see unless you were kind of happened upon it or knew it was here. Isn't that cute with all the mice? And Hunter, what did all the money go towards in the Wishing Well? I had no idea. Take a while to guess. What's your favorite nonprofit? Your wish? Give Kids a World! Oh, yeah, Give Kids a World. Okay. And then if you see, it's right in front of Cinderella Castle. Dude. So it's a really quiet, cute little place if you're thinking of proposing to anybody. We had two monsters laugh for just in time. There's a dark cloud of ruin, and Tim got a warning on his weather bug to seek shelter immediately. So, perfect timing. I have a joke for everybody. Wait, I have a joke for everybody. Okay, let's hear it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Noah. Noah who? Noah the knock, knock joke. Oh, how about me? Something is funny. Call the CDA hotline, and we'll be there in a flash. We know comedy is hard. So now the CDA is here to help, ready to drop in on a moment's notice to scientifically find and evaluate your 3.8 Eagle 1, 4.7 Eagle 1, 10.3 Eagle 1. Agents are available day and night. No fears, All the way down to the end of the road, humans, we're gonna have a full show tonight. Okay, humans, you know the drill. All the way down to the end of the road. Wazowski's in the house key. Who's heard of Mike Wazowski before? Are there any Mike Wazowski fans out there? Great. That completes our mic check. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, let's check in with the laugh killer. So we got two giggle wide so far. What's that? Wow, we got a great show playing for you today. We got, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have no name? Yeah, I, I have it. Okay, great. I'm going to read the number from your mind. Uh, before we start, though, um, everybody's going to need to know what the number is so they're surprised when they get it right. So I want you to tell them the number. But don't worry, I'm going to be right over here, okay? I'm going to close my eyes so I can't hear you. Okay. 13. Danny, did you tell everybody your number? Yep, I told them. Danny, did you tell everybody your number? Yeah, yeah. I did. Danny, did you tell everybody your number? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I had my eyes closed. That's my fault. <laughs> okay, start the mind reading now. Focus on your number, dude. Yes, point to your brain. Excellent. Can you put your fingers up like antennas on top? Great. Wonderful. Ooh, they're adjustable. Cool. <laughs> oh, you have, you have to do that too. <laughs> and guess what? Uncle Mike's gonna let me tell some jokes you humans texted in. Do you want to hear them? Yeah! yeah. Said, do you want to hear them? Yeah! And this comes in from Danny who says, What do you call a fake noodle? Everyone say what? 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 An impasta. <laughs> <laughs> and Shannon says, Look at the sunset with the storm. Apparently, I just missed lightning. Yeah, very super cool lightning flash on the cross. Great sunset, though. Oh, look at that. Look at it in the camera. That's pretty. That is awesome. Awesome sunset. I don't think we're going to get a better ending than that, guys. Thanks for watching today. Appreciate your likes, subscribes, and comments. Thank you so much for watching.